explain the oops concept into your selenium automation framework that you have created very very important interview question okay let's dive in i'm going to show you how basically you can explain all the four five concepts of oops directly from the automation framework but the prerequisite for this video is that you should have completed or you should know how to create a selenium automation framework right so that is very easy i'm going to share everything in this video i'm going to share how you can basically highlight which part is exactly where i mean how encapsulation is done in our automation framework step by step we'll go through it and this is going to be an amazing video and definitely if this is the question which you are getting into your interview definitely you will be able to crack all right let's get started welcome to the testing academy guys if you are existing subscriber thanks for watching and if you are new one make sure you like and subscribe to this video because you will get a notification right automation is the need of the hour this is a wake up call for the manual testers if you want to convert to automation job ready automation tester batch is now live four months live batch saturday sunday we are going to learn about core java api automation and web automation link is in the description do check it out all the projects are live will the 24 7 doubt sessions on sd.club check out the more details and we create videos around the software testing and test automation and productivity right uh, this is pramod with 12 years experience let's get started how to explain your automation framework with the oops concept okay first of all the most important thing so two things that you need to do make sure that you are going to watch the selenium automation framework 30 days of selenium automation framework videos because in this framework in this one we have created a automation framework this one uh, which is the advanced framework that we have created okay uh, let me show you also if you go to the github profile right just go to github profile uh, go to the repository you will find a advanced selenium framework that we have done right so this will be helpful for you because this basically contains the overall selenium framework that we are going to discuss so you can take a help from this this framework we are going to see how oops concepts are implemented like abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and everything okay so let's get started with the first thing i think uh, the first thing we are going to discuss which is most important which is class class is nothing like a blueprint right it is nothing but a blueprint that you basically will help you to create the objects let me give you a very simple example in this case okay consider that class is like a blueprint to create a building and what you do is that you create objects out of it so real life in real life we have multiple buildings which are available right for example this is a building where in this blueprint it is written that you can create a 10 story building and you can basically basically at you will have uh, for example five bathrooms five toilets or anything that you can add it right this is a blueprint which is not a real entity right it is just a blueprint that we are going to create these kind of building so after that you create a objects right so these objects will basically help you these are real world entities and you can have different different what we call buildings you can have a dlf building brigade road prestige right different different builder can build the by using this bl blueprint they can basically print or uh, you can say create an object so classes is basically a theoretical or you can say user defined data types in java which basically you can say that it's a blueprint to create a real world entity which is an object so see overall in java we generally create lot of lot of lot of classes so if you have seen if you have, if you have gone through the automation framework that we have seen so this is what i have right everything is nothing but a class if you see even we are creating a driver manager right all of them are basically a classes and the moment you run it right we create instances of it so this is a basically an object if you see right we have that uh, created for us right so classes and objects are clear these are the two important things these are not oops related but again you got the point the next important thing is the abstraction right abstraction basically means that how you will basically hide the implementation how you will hide the implementation right you know what in our framework right what exactly we can do so for example if i have i am creating a test case suppose in this test case do i have to basically show you what exactly how i am basically basically making or starting a chrome browser no how i am basically going to a particular url no in this test case i will only show you the verification part right so a very small part i will show you what i will do is i will hide all the details similarly whenever you are driving a car what do you see you see a car which is assembled but you don't know how engine is started how basically tires are basically working right internal implementation you basically don't are not aware of it right so in your automation framework if you see right let me open in our automation framework if you see abstraction basically means hiding the details so how do you hide your details what exactly you will do here in this case if you see right we have hidden lot of things like for example how driver were basically initialized and how driver is basically handing a parallel execution we have hidden correctly directly by calling the, the implementation so this part basically hiding the implementation of driver how your browser will install how your browser will basically start how your chrome driver will install everything is basically hidden in this case similarly this part is basically hiding how we will navigate to a page 
how we'll do a verification everything is basically hidden only in the assertion part i have showcased you right so here you can clearly mean see that abstraction is purely purely added by using this mechanism right so generally abst abstraction we added by using abstract classes or interfaces right so here what we have done is that we have basically hidden everything by creating interfaces and abstraction into these classes okay into these classes and that's what we are doing right i hope this makes sense okay so next concept uh, we'll see what is it which is encapsulation encapsulation basically means that whatever the data variables that you have and the functions you will bind together and you will make them very strong uh, strongly encapsulated with each other what exactly it means right encapsulation you will see in your framework whenever you will open the for example suppose uh, let me close that uh, here here in this case right so encapsulation basically see the moment you create page object classes right encapsulation you will see that you are basically making private variables right all the variables or i am basically trying to log into a particular page right so all i am doing is basically encapsulating this by using the getter setters and also right and we have all the functions which are available which are closely encapsulated right consider encapsulation like a capsule which contains your data variables and methods which are basically present into a capsule like capsule this is a capsule containing data variable and methods this is called as encapsulation now portion is promote but why we need this encapsulation see we need this because we don't want these variables to be accessed by the public anyone can basically call our classes and start using it no we don't want that we this is for security purposes and all we want to encapsulate as much Uh, classes as possible we want to encapsulate our variables and function in a tightly together so that they are more secure in each other that's what we want to do this is a oops concept appears right then next was is the inheritance see single inheritance most of the time we will be using in the uh, you can say in the automation right i have a base test the common functionalities for example you can consider base test as your father my father already have some functionalities for example my father has a lamborghini that i can drive my father has already 3 bhk flat in bangalore right so i can basically get that right so here interface i am using for example login test extends the functionality of base test so now i can drive or right so i can use a get driver function i can basically also uh, verify my pages so here you can see that the yes the verification is done right i can also do assertion right so everything i can do all these are common functionalities which are available into the base test of my father right so i have basically got all the features from my father in this login test so i can create multiple login test because i have five five uh, you can say brothers right each of them get these details from the father right that's the inheritance part in the automation so this is the moment you do the moment you basically get the details from a base test or something right it is nothing but an entire in inheritance in this case right so right now we are using single inheritance right now in this case okay i hope this makes sense so polymorphism polymorphism basically says that a basically ability of a different class to be uh, you can say treated as a instance of a common super class right so in polymorphism basically means same object different behavior right this polymorphism you have seen multiple times polymorphism basically is two types run time right and compile time if you see if you want to see a simple demo in this driver uh, not this driver manager where we have one second right so here if you see right this is polymorphism which is operate uh, you can say overloading in java we are discussing right here you can see there are two input methods same same name so for example name is same in enter input and for input but the difference is that one you can enter a string and this one can be used for integer because sometimes what happens is i have to enter an integer into a checkbox or some not checkbox sorry a input box so i will use a integer here here i will use a string see this is a hypothetical example but again you got the point this is a overloading concepts right and the second important concept related to polymorphism is overriding what you can do is you can write uh, whatever the father for example your father suppose have old ford car okay old ford car i am talking about okay now but you will not use that ford card right what exactly you will do you will buy a lamborghini right so i have overridden the method so if i want to drive something right i will use a upgraded version right that is called as overriding so i will override the car functionality of my father while basically uh, getting it as an inheritance so this is a concept of polymorphism right which is basically polymorphism is simple thing the, uh, same object different behavior that we are discussing right so that's how you can basically explain the concept right so all of the demos i have basically given to you here in this uh, demo this is a second link which i basically i want to discuss uh, go to the atb notes here you will see a uh, 
oops concept encapsulation i have given bad example bad example basically means private uh, public variables and there is no getter setters properly implemented here is a good good example where public is properly for example this username is added as a private nobody can use it directly this is what you can basically go right here note only that in the oops concept i have given you abstract methods how abstract basically works read more about it right how basically abstraction is done by using an interface by using an abstract methods all these basically details i have given right then in the encapsulation demo i have done multiple examples inheritance we discussed about the single inheritance has a relationship composite right multiple inheritance all of them we have discussed in these examples let me know if you want all these to go through one by one in the chat just type yes i want to i want you to explain more in depth or you can type in depth in the chat right i will do it for you all right thanks a lot this is enough i think it's a very big video right now but i hope you get the high level clarity how to explain your automation framework with the oops concept just type in depth in the chat i will create a part 2 where i will explain these concept very well more okay thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye this is your host pramod bye